Alright guys, before we get into the video, I just want to let you know that I'm giving away a free 30 minute consulting call with me. I normally charge $50 for this, but if you leave a comment under this video, then you'll be entered to win it for free. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so Chinese New Year is split into three parts, Little Year, Spring Festival, and Lantern Festival. As you can see, this is a 23 day holiday in total. The vast majority of Chinese factories are going to be taking breaks during this holiday. Notice that I said break sa and not break. There are going to be some factories that take the whole holiday off, but many of them are just going to take a few days here and there or they take one of these sections off. It's super important to contact your suppliers, especially the ones that supply your winning products, to figure out when they'll be taking off. For me, my biggest supplier is only taking off Little Year, which is the first section. That means that there's just going to be about a week that they take off. For another one of my winning products, my supplier is going to stop production completely during the entire holiday. However, they'll still ship orders, so they made a couple hundred products in advance, which are reserved for me. Every supplier does this differently, and it's super important to be up to date with what yours are going to do. As I understand, last year e-packet shipping was severely affected by Chinese New Year. This year there's still going to be some delays, but probably not as bad, and here's why. This year e-packet shipping is still going to be running 100% of the time, but once suppliers get back from break, there's going to be a ton of orders for them to manufacture and ship out. I was told to expect about a week of additional delays due to this. Overall, I'm guessing most orders are going to be delayed about 10 to 15 days unless your supplier is taking a ton of time off, in which case you need to find a new supplier. I recommend that you either add something to your website or to your order confirmation email to let customers know that they can expect delays. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Unfortunately, Chinese New Year is just one of the many struggles that we have to deal with when dropshipping from AliExpress. But I hope you guys took some value out of this video so that it doesn't completely mess up your business. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,